Hey, how's it going guys? In this PyQt5 tutorial, we're going to learn how to interact Matplotlib chart with PyQt widgets. All right, so here's the demo we'll be doing in this exercise. In this application, uh, I have a Matplotlib graph. On the top is an input field, basically a Qline edit widget. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow this input field to communicate with uh, this Matplotlib graph. So I can insert value. Let's insert uh, 50. And because our y-axis uh, limit is 100. And when I enter the 50, it's going to uh, display a bar graph with the maximum value of 50. And if I uh, change the value to 100, and I'll fill the bar all the way to the top. And also, if we try to insert an invalid value, so for example, ABC, and because ABC is a letter string and it's not a numerical value, therefore nothing is going to get graphed. You can also insert decimal points. I don't know if you can see the decimal point, but uh, with this, we can insert decimal points as well. Let's do 50.99. All right, so I think that makes the bar a little bit uh, taller. Now, let me close this window and let's get started. So I'll start by inserting my code snippet. And let me increase the font size. So from the importing statement, I'll import the system module. And from Qt widgets module, I'll import Qline editor. And we don't need the Qt class, so I can delete this. All right, so if you want to uh, display a map plot the graph in PyQt5 window, we need to import the uh, PyQt wrapper from MapPlotLib. So here I'm going to say that from MapPlotLib dot backends dot backend underscore Qt5 agg. So this is the uh, module that supports the uh, Qt framework. And from the module, I want to import the figure converse qt agg class. And I'll name this class as figure converse. Now let me try to run the script just to make sure that I don't have any typo. All right, so we have a typo here. All right, so the import statement works. Now I want to uh, import the mapper library. So from import mapperlib.pyplot, I want to name this as plt. I also import the mapperlib uh, library as well. All right, now let's go into the uh, my app class. So here I'm setting the windows dimension, and here's my layout object. It's a vertical bus layout. Oh, and here's my main routine to uh, create the uh, app instance and uh, my app instance. All right, now let's go back to my app class. So we're going to start by creating our input field. And I'm just name this object self .input. is equals to Qline editor. And because I haven't created the method yet, but later on we're going to link a method to the text exchange event. So I'll put this uh, in here for now. And I'll mark this as to do. Then I'll add this widget to my layout object. Now I'll create my figure to insert our mapper lib graph. And I'll name the uh, figure self.converse. And basically we're going to take the figure converse class and we're going to insert a figure object. So from plt.figure, I want to set the uh, window size or the figure size. And I'll set the figure size to 15 by 6. And I can add this uh, self.canvas object to my layout object. So essentially, this figure canvas is a widget itself. And despite that, we're importing this widget from the MapperLib library. So that means that the MapperLib library is very well connected to uh, the Qt framework. Now, if I launch my application, 
So here's our initial uh, window design or app design. So here's our input field and below that is our figure. Later on, we're going to install graph uh, in this figure window. Now let's go ahead and uh, uh, create our access object. So I'll name this, uh, I'll name this method and set X. So I'll start by uh, creating my self dot X object and found self dot canvas dot figure. This will reference the map of the figure, not the widget. And then we can reference the sub plus. And I'll set my uh, y axis limit it's from 0 to 100. And it's going to be a list. I'll do the same for uh, x axis. And let's do uh, 0 and 0 and 0.5. Actually, let's do 1. And I'll set the default bar value to none. And I'll run the insert x method uh, when we initialize the application. So here I'll insert the method. And to allow the input field or, or the QLine edit widget to communicate with uh, this self.converse object, we need to create another method to uh, link to this self.input.text exchange event. I'll name this method update chart. If you think about the flow, the first thing we need is the value from the uh, input field. And to make sure that we're only inserting numerical value, so here I'm going to insert try accept block. And I'll convert the value to flow. And the value variable, here this should be value, is other than uh, numerical value, it's going to do an error, a value error actually. Then we're going to assign the value to zero. And this will be value as well. And here we need to uh, specify where we're going to insert the, uh, uh, the bar graph. So here I'm going to name the variable uh, x position. And it's going to be a list. And since we only have one single bar that I want to uh, present, the x value is going to be 0.5, which is the uh, median of these two values. Now I can see that if self dot bar uh, is other than none, here we need to uh, remove the bar first. Then we can replot the graph. So from self dot x dot bar, and we're going to insert the x position followed by value and for the bar words I'll set that to 0.2 and for the uh, bar color I'll set that to green now we can reference the self.converse object dot draw so this will redraw the uh, the graph All right now I can take this update chart method and I'll put this back in the text exchange event all right, so that's everything we need to write. Now let's take a look. Oh, and here's a uh, input. And here's an error. Right, I have a typo right here. Okay, so here the first thing I noticed is that because I'm on a 4K monitor, the font size is going to appear very tiny. So let's go back. We'll fix that right now. And going back to the insert X method, I'll create a oops. I'll create a, a font style object. I'll name this object font. Inside the font dictionary, I'll provide the uh, weight property. I'll set that to normal. And for the font size, I'll set that to sixteen. And to implement the uh, font style to our map lib graph, so from map lib library. This uh, uh, method called RC. I want to uh, specify the property that I want to uh, modify and followed by the uh, function. 
And make sure that you insert uh, two wildcard symbols. Now let's take a look again. So here's our graph. And the font size this time looks much better or much bigger. Now I'm going to try to insert value in my input field. I'm going to insert 50. And that's going to uh, graph the bar and with the uh, top value of 50. I can uh, try to insert value A, B, C. And because uh, this triaxial block is going to capture the air, therefore the value is going to be zero. Now let me try to insert uh, 99.9. .9. It should let's do 99. And that leaves a very, very uh, narrow space on the top. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.